What's up everyone? Uh, my name is Zach Muir and today I'll be showing you Sisu and specifically how to use the mobile app. So first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to come into your app store, Google Play Store, whatever you have, uh, and just search Sisu over here and you'll find our app. It is the one with the orange logo. So right here you'll see it, Sisu for Realtors. Download it. Um, and then you'll have the app on your phone. So you'll just pull it up right here. Let's see, mine's right here. Um, and when you open the app for the first time, so let me show you what it'll look like when you open it for the first time. Um, it's just gonna pull you up right to your um, dashboard, right? And if you don't have your login yet, you can actually just go, um, let me show you what that'll look like. If you don't have your login yet, your administrator probably already put in an email address for you. So all you got to do is just go here to forgot your password. And if you haven't already gotten an email with your password, you can just hit right here, put your email in. It's going to send you a new password to that account so that you can log in and start using the app. Right? So I'll just log in as me right now so I can start showing you how some of this works. Just two seconds. Cool. All right, so first time you log in, you'll get your dashboard and it won't look like this yet for you because you haven't tracked anything um, and you haven't put your goals in yet. And everything that you're gonna do in CSU is gonna be based on your goals. So the very first thing I would recommend doing is go over here on the far right, so far right more tab, and just hit goal setup. Uh, it's gonna ask you, you know, what your desired income is. So I'm gonna say I wanna make 100 grand this year. Uh, what's your reason for tracking your goals? Always remember your why behind you're doing these things, why behind you're doing the activities, why behind why you want to make that money. Um, and then put in different goals of uh, closed volume, under contract volume, how many listings or buyers do you want to close each month, um, how many listings signed, buyers signed, how many listing appointments you want to go, uh, go on, all the way down to contacts. Uh, once you have those goals set up, Let's go back on the bottom left to the home tab um, and that's pulling back up uh, your tracking, right? So this is showing your tracking towards those goals. So you can see the, at the time I'm recording this, it's the end of the month. Uh, so if you look at the top left, the contacts circle, you'll see that I have set the goal of 500 contacts. I've hit 626 contacts right now and the little uh, white marker is showing me how how close I should be to that goal obviously I've already hit it so it's showing me that I've completed that but if you look at the bottom right on close it's showing you that I've closed five out of the seven deals that I wanted to close um, and the white marker is showing me that I should be further along than that um, and I can separate this out by months you know I can look at how I did last month so I see you know I've hit my goals on everything except for first time appointments and buyers signed um, I can look at it weekly, uh, make sure I'm staying on track weekly. So you'll see contacts that show me I'm on track, but I haven't hit my goal yet. Uh, the colors go from cold to hot. So blue means you're behind, yellow means you're on track, orange means you've hit that goal. All right. So pretty simple way to uh, set goals, you know, state what you want to produce and then make sure and keep yourself on track, hold yourself accountable, hit your goals, crush your goals, make the money, right? Um, next thing I'm going to show you is how to track those different things. So, uh, one of the most important things to be tracking is your daily contacts. That's kind of the basis of everything. And, uh, your team will define what a contact means for most teams. It means you're having a conversation about real estate with somebody, whether that's a, a email back and forth, whether that's a text back and forth in person on the phone, you talk to somebody about real estate, that's a contact. And all you got to do to track those is just hit the plus button. Or you can just type, you know, hit the number and say, I did 25 contacts today. And you'll see that that's going to automatically update back on your dashboard. So I just barely hit my goal for contacts, right? Uh, if I need to go back and enter a day, I can just hit the date here. And I can choose, you know, yesterday. And I could say, um, yesterday I did, you know, I actually did 55 contacts and save that. Make sure you hit save. Um, okay, now let's go back to today because I'm tracking for today. Now let's say I've done those 25 contacts and I ended up setting a first time appointment with somebody. So 
when I notice when I hit the plus button on first time appointments, it's actually going to pull up my pipeline because the reason behind that is it wants to know who you went on the appointment with. Uh, it's important that these numbers are actually tied to people in your pipeline and production numbers that you're actually working with. So I can choose somebody who's already in here. If I need to enter somebody in that's super quick, all I do is I'll say it's a listing. Uh, it's Jeff Giles. The transaction amount is, you know, you're estimating here because maybe you don't know yet, but you've had a conversation with him. You've set an appointment and you know, he's in like the 500,000 range, let's say, and your commission, you're estimating 3%, uh, your paid income, that's your split. So say your split on your team is 50%. So you just hit calculate and calculate and it'll auto calculate those for you. That's all you have to enter. It's basically who is it and how much money is that deal going to make you? And these are things that most top agents are, are tracking on a whiteboard or an Excel sheet or wherever they're tracking it. Instead of doing that, you're just going to be tracking it on your phone. Uh, you can put email and phone number if you want. You don't have to. Uh, lets you contact them directly from the app, but we're just trying to keep it simple here. So we're not going to worry about that for now. And I'm going to say that that initial appointment date is today, right? And I'll save it. And that's all I got to do. We'll see Jeff just popped up up there. If I go back to my home tab, uh, my first time appointments just went up. I'm on track there. Uh, I can actually click on the first time appointments tab or circle. So I just clicked on that circle and that pulled up my pipeline again. And I can see Jeff once again. Um, and let's say Jeff, uh, listing appointment went great. We ended up signing today. So I signed that listing agreement. If I save that, now Jeff is going to move from my pipeline to my signed clients. So I can see Jeff Giles right there. Right. And one important thing to notice here, and these are the kind of numbers that most real estate agents won't know if you ask them, like how much money is in your pipeline right now? Right. If you were to close every signed deal that you have right now, how much money would you make? It's, a, it's an important number to know. Most real estate agents don't know it. So we've got it right here, bottom right. Uh, you see you're going to make close to 100000 if you close all those signed deals. And uh, whatever you have under contract, that's how much you're going to make if those close. And all the deals that you've closed, that's how much money you've made. So really good, really cool numbers to know. Uh, you could just check them just by the touch of a button. And then... Uh, let's continue with Jeff. So say Jeff ends up, uh, going under contract on, you know, on November 5th, let's say I put him under contract and then the settlement date is December 15th, right? I'm going to save that. That's going to move him to the next stage of the pipeline. So if I go to under contract here, I'll see Jeff Giles there again. Uh, the estimated value, all that is automatically calculating for me. And uh, if something happens, let's say uh, Jeff calls me and he says, you know what, I really don't want to go through with this. I don't want to sell my home anymore. All I would do is come in and say, well, that sucks. Uh, I'm going to clear out this settlement date because he ended up not settling. So I want to make sure that there's not a settlement date in there for him. Uh, and then I can just pull this up. Uh, I can archive him. So I could, let's just move him out of here and say, uh, I've got cold. And it's going to be archived. So now I can see him back here in my archives. Uh, you can see I've used Jeff as an example before. That's why there's two in there. And then, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he comes back again. So I can click on him again and I can activate him and I can say, you know, change mind and pull him back. I can put those dates back in. Uh, but if you keep track of these, there's some really cool metrics that you're going to be able to pull uh, on our online dashboards. And I'll, I'll actually just switch over and show you those now. Um, give me just two seconds. Pull this up. Let's go to Sisu. So when you come in and log in, um, you just log in from my my.sisu.co, or you can just go to sisu.co and in the top right corner, um, you're going to have a little login there. Let's see, sorry, my internet's being slow. So yeah, top right login, uh, same login you use for the app, you'll be able to access this. Uh, but just to show you, you're going to get, so if I look at like my personal snapshot here, um, I'll be able to see, 
here's how many I've signed this year, this many have gone under contract, this many have closed, I have this many pending. But even more importantly, you're gonna be able to see your conversion ratios. And what I mean by that is, I see right here, I'm looking at October, my personal dashboard for October, and I'm seeing that I did 656 contacts, 4% of those are converting into appointments. And 12 of those have been buyer appointments, 13 have been listing appointments. And you're seeing, you know, 12 is my buyer appointments, how many I've gone on, and eight is my goal, so I've already hit that goal. Same goes for listing appointments. And then how well did I convert those appointments? So I'm eight for 13 on my listing side, that's a 62% ratio, and I'm 10 for 12 on the buyer side, so that's an 83% ratio. And you can watch these things, make sure that you're staying up to date on them so that uh, you know, whenever you do training or whenever you wanna focus on something or improve an area of your business, you can just look at these ratios and make that improvement. And you can look at this you know, yearly just by select, selecting right here. And I can see what my yearly average is, right? So I see, okay, on the year I'm doing close to 80% on buyers and listings. You know, that's pretty dang good. Maybe my contacts to appointments ratio isn't that good. So I'm gonna work on my scripts, right? So really important things that you're gonna be able to tell by tracking these numbers. Uh, we had an agent just barely in our market uh, close here. She closed 32 deals her very first year in the business. And this is pretty much all she was doing. She was just tracking it. She knew everything about her business. And when she went for coaching, she knew exactly what areas to bring up. Her coach you know, taught her what she needed to know. And then she dialed it in and improved. So really cool things that you can learn here. One last thing I want to show you. If you aren't sure what your goals should be. So you know, I, I mentioned going in first thing in the app and setting your goals. So these monthly goals of how many contacts should I do? How many buyer appointments, listing appointments should I be setting? Uh, we have a really cool little tool here. If you go to account and uh, goal calculator, you guys can play around with this and say, say I'm calculating my own personal goals. Um, I want to make 100,000 in commissions this year. And my average transaction size is 250,000. Uh, I'm making, you know, say, say I on average, I get a 3% commission gross commission on it, but my split is 50%. So for each deal, I'm making 1.5% approximately. And if I were to contact 100 leads on average, I'm gonna set, you know, three appointments. And I'm working 50-50 with buyers or sellers or maybe you're working purely with buyers, so you're gonna say this is 0%. All right, let's say I'm, I'm a purely a buyer's agent. And uh, it's gonna go even deeper into your performance with buyers, or you can just use our baselines. Uh, but you can say, you know, if I go on 10 buyer appointments, I'm probably gonna sign seven of them. Um, of those buyers that I sign, I'm gonna put 90% of them under contract. And of those that I put under contract, 90% will end up actually closing. And then it's gonna tell you, and you can have these results emailed to yourself if you want. It's gonna tell you, okay, you're gonna to wanna to close 27 homes this year. That means each month you should be shooting for three buyer transactions. Now, if you actually hit three buyer transactions on every month, obviously you're gonna close 36 homes, right? But because we don't have decimals and we're not shooting to close 2.5 homes a month, uh, three is the goal that it's telling you should shoot for. So you can plug that into your app. And then you can say, I wanna do, you know, I'm gonna to have to do four buyers under contract. I should sign five buyer broker agreements and I should go on eight buyer appointments and contact 267 leads. So real quick activity you can run through to know exactly, you know, it's just a numbers game. So once you dial these numbers in, you just go to work, make sure you hit them, stay on track, you're gonna kill it. So. Uh, those are the main things that I wanted to show. Um, if your team, hopefully your team will be rolling out some challenges. So you can come in here and see uh, what challenges your team has going on. So, you know, these are some test challenges that we have. And, you know, um, let's see, I'm going to look at our active challenges. You know, I could see, oops, I guess we don't have any active challenges yet. Uh, I need to set some of those. But your team will have set challenges here that are based on month that says like for the month of November, we're going to focus on uh, listing signed, right? And you'll be able to see a leaderboard for that. You can also at any time see leaderboards for the whole team over here. 
if I just go leaderboards and, uh, you know, say I want to look at contacts for October, right? I'm already looking at that. So I can see the leaderboard for contacts. And if your team is running a challenge on this, maybe they have an incentive, you know, a little bonus for whoever hits the highest on these numbers. You can watch that, you know, make sure you're on top or put in a little extra effort to get on top. You can also see this from your app. So I'm switching over real quick. Uh, the little trophy right here. So if I look at the trophy, I can see the leaderboards. I can see, you know, who's closed the most units this month. Um, who's closed the most, you know, who's closed the most volume. Uh, I can look at over the year as well and switch that uh, and look at it. So a lot of different cool things that you can do. Uh, sorry, I clicked out of that. Yeah, closed units on a year is showing now. And uh, make it a lot of fun. So my recommendation, figure out what you want to do this year. Go plug those goals in and get tracking. And uh, guarantee you'll, you'll improve your business just by keeping this up to date and holding yourself accountable to what you want to achieve and knowing your business to a better extent so that you can know where you can improve. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, feel free to reach out to our team if you need anything.